everybody. It's Emily from Life So Savory and today I'm going to be giving you a little tour of our house. So we talked about this last week um, that I was going to do this today and it worked out well um, for me just with Christmas and everything going on to not have to prepare a tutorial. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today and I hope you'll come along and say hi and um, we'll be checking out my sewing space as well as the rest of our house. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to do, um, a few shares and then we'll get started. The kids, um, got out of school today at... Uh, noon so they're home <laughs> watching a show and uh, will hopefully that will be okay I've already warned them when I show up that part of the house they need to be quiet and not make a big fuss so hopefully we can do that all right um, yep okay so so, Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be taking this off. Oh, you're right, Michelle. Thank you. You're my um, reverse queen. There we go. Now everything will be the way it's supposed to be and <laughs> my shirt's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so if you're just joining, um, today we're going to do a little tour of our home and a lot of you have asked to see uh, where we're living and what our place looks like and also a lot of my um, friends from back in Wisconsin have also asked about this. So this is a way for me to kind of kill two birds with one stone and um, people who want to check out our house can come back and watch this video and those of you who are interested and nosy, I totally am. I mean I love seeing other people's houses and where we're um, where you live and what's going on and I'm I'm super nosy about these things. So anyway, I know that it's fun. Hi Cheryl, hi Melanie. Um, anyway, so I know that that is something that I'm interested in and I always love these sort of home tours. So um, I'm gonna do it for mine. If you're interested in seeing where we lived at this time last year, I've given you a link um, in the description of this video to check out our apartment in Hong Kong. Um, which is where we lived a year ago. So um, just a tiny bit of um, background information. Uh, we moved into this house the end of August. So we purchased it in July, but the current owners that were living here before that um, were building a new house and they weren't gonna be able to move in until the end of August. So that we ended up getting in a couple days early, which was great because we were living in a hotel at the time. And um, not super exciting, but <laughs> Uh, so it was really nice after about four months of transition to be able to move into our home and put a dresser together and stop living out of a suitcase. So um, that's what I'm going to show you today. So we're going to save the sewing room for towards the end because it's one of my favorite places. And you guys get to see part of it in my shows every week, um, the sewing space. But we'll go into more detail and I'll, and I'll really give you... Um, an in-depth tour of where it is rather than just um, sewing. So we're gonna start with the upstairs. Um, again, my kids are home, so if there's yelling, school's out, and my husband's not home yet. So that is, I'm just dealing with, with everyone, but they're busy watching TV at the moment. So I'm gonna grab this, and I'm actually gonna reverse the video around so you can see someone's commenting as me. <laughs> commenting and saying my shirt's cute. Um, oh, I know, I was gonna do one more thing. So, just let me... Okay, um, do that, and then I'm gonna reverse the video so that you can actually see, um, you know, you won't see me, but then I can, I can really, <laughs> um, I do that all the time on other people's videos. 
um, so that you can see um, what I'm doing, or I mean, so I can see your video, your comments, but then you can still see our house. So you won't see me necessarily the whole time, but I'll be here and giving, um, I need a camera person to follow me around. But um, anyway, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna swing around and we're gonna head upstairs to start. So, um, now is this, that's backwards again, huh? Oh, okay, there we go. So, um, this is our front door and then you can come in, hall closet, and go up the stairs. So we're gonna go up there and let's see. So when we um, bought the place, there was carpet in the, um, upstairs the whole upstairs and it was a little bit on the older side so we decided to put in um, a laminate flooring upstairs with kids toys and everything I'm not a huge fan of carpet so we here you go so we tried to match the stairs to the hardwood that was down there and then my husband and I really liked this gray this is actually the PCV sort of plastic laminate and it is really indestructible, at least what we've discovered so far, because we have, um, we've dropped like 200 pound doors on it, and my kids like scrape things across it, and anyway, it's perfect. So this is actually plastic, but it's beautiful and we love it. So, and this runner we brought with us from Hong Kong, it was, we actually bought it in Turkey on one of our trips, and it's just been something that's been in our homes, um, that we've always that we've lived in so let's start with the boys room and let me turn on the lights as I come up here so um, we've got some Christmas decorations and they decorated this themselves with the lights on their bed and the two bedrooms the kids rooms are essentially the same size um, except for the boys we gave them this room because the closet is bigger than the other room so um, you know, they're always used the battle to keep the Nerf guns contained in the closet, but I got, um, this cute basketball rack or the coat rack at Hobby Lobby. And then this was a picture. Um, I was trying to buy the poster online, but I couldn't find it. So it's just sports from around the world. And I thought it was really cute. So I just enlarged it and laminated it and hung it up on their wall for a little sport. They wanted um, sports. So, um, I don't make my kids make their bed. Obviously you can see that. Um, that is not one of the things that I, that is a battle worth fighting for me. So, um, anyway, so we have a mess of beds, but, and then they have some, um, cork sheets on their walls, both the top and bottom bunks, so they can kind of stick the things on that they want and um, have that. So if you have any questions while you're watching or where I got things, go ahead and ask. So um, almost everything you see here, we when we left Hong Kong, we didn't bring any furniture. So all the furniture is new. Um, so if you have any questions, I actually remember where I got things because it was fairly recent. So um, the blackout curtains are from Target and they have worked really well. It does get really dark in here and those were cute. Um, that I found so and then the toy bins which actually just store Legos are those are Ikea and I had in here I bought like a really plush rug because the boys said they wanted like a thick carpet but then I realized that's terrible for Legos so I took that away and we have this really cheap utilitarian rug that they can sit on and the goal is that the Legos stay on the rug. You can see some are escaping over there. There's some clones getting out but um, that's the goal is when we clean up I don't make them pick up all the Legos but they do have to keep contained to the rug. So okay and then back out to the hallway and then over here to Rose's room and again it's the same size essentially as the other room. It's just the um, closet is a little bit smaller and since she's only one person we decided to um, give her this room so a friend gave her 
these princess pictures, so she wanted to hang them up. I was hoping we could do a little more um, multicultural theme in here, but for her, princesses are what is really exciting to her. So we have the princesses, um, and I love this rug. I think I got it from overstock.com, but it ties together her teal dresser, her purple curtains, and like her pink bedding. All the colors are in there beautifully. So um, I was super excited about this purchase. The kitchen is from Craigslist um, and she got it for her birthday. So that was a good find. And we brought all of her pots and pans and play food and stuff with us um, from Hong Kong. So um, that was really a fun find. And then her closet is not as big but filled with dress-up clothes. <laughs> and then also some of my storage things. So yeah, I have, thanks Michelle, this is this is really cute. So I got this shelf and it I was gonna hang it up high and then I realized why would I hang it up high, it's her room. So if you can't see, it's actually like low, to, it's her level. So um, she has her like, little dolls and ponies and like the tiny things on it which I thought was cute and her walls are really bare so I have a lot of ideas for it um we bought this at Hobby Lobby this I know I could make it but it was there and I had a 40% off coupon so I used it um but I want to put her name like in either button art or string art or something kind of about her bed so that's what I plan to do with that but I haven't gotten there yet. And this, she picked out at Hobby Lobby. I was like, really? You want the jewel butterfly? But it's her room, so we bought the jewel butterfly. Okay, and then um, hall closet, which has been great. Hong Kong didn't have, sorry, Hong Kong didn't have any closets. Um, so any storage space you wanted, you had to buy a wardrobe um, or just buy something to put storage in. So I have loved that there are closets in these rooms and closets in the hallway um, that we can store things in. So, okay, so this room we've done nothing with um, besides buy a bedroom set because I wanna paint. And I don't know if you can see, but this color is really like fleshy. Sometimes it looks pink, I don't know. They painted all the bedrooms this color the previous owners and we don't really love it. So I love the light in this room and um, it's been perfect and the size is great, but we don't have a single thing on the wall. You can see here is my pile of pictures, well, and some fabric. Um, it's become a little bit of a catch-all, but we've got maps and pictures and all kinds of things that I wanna hang. And we're gonna make this sort of our travel room because um, you know we have so many mementos from all of our travels and I don't really know where else to put those. So we're gonna hang those in here and do a bunch of fun things, but I'm gonna try and paint and I'm hoping um, over the break. So I can take some opinions here. We got this bedding and I love it. <laughs> That's the same one we call it, yes. It's dark, it looks peach, it looks pink. My husband's like, why are our walls painted pink? I get it. Um, I love this bedding. And so I'm thinking about painting the walls either a very light, like I don't want it really dark in here, but a light shade of this blue or a light shade of this green. In our first apartment, no, our second apartment in Hong Kong, we had a yellow bedroom and I loved it, but I just, it took so many coats. So I don't think I'm gonna wanna go yellow again but I'm wondering about this blue or green. Um, so the turquoise, yeah, I think, but really light, like, you know, almost white, but like a tint of the turquoise. So that's what I'm thinking and hoping to do it after Christmas. Um, so there's a walk-in closet, which we love. And then um, here is our bathroom. So until uh, we were looking at <laughs> Michelle Boat's green, I had never, until we were looking at houses um, for this move, seen bedrooms um, with the bathroom like open into the master bedroom. Uh, Janine, it's um, Azalea Sky is the name of the bedding company and I think I bought it from Overstock, but the brand that makes this is Azalea Sky, but I ordered it online. Um, very affordable 
and really a lot of cute sort of a little bit more ethnic looking which is what I wanted for this room so this is this particular bedding is called like Moroccan nights or something but the brand is Azalea Sky um, if you look on my Instagram I have that okay so the um, so yeah so this room the, the bedroom the bathroom had nothing between the bedroom and the bathroom and my husband gets up a little bit before I do so we one of the first projects we tackled was putting on the barn doors so that when he gets up he can close those and turn on the light and shower and I can catch my like 20 minutes more of sleep in the morning so um, and this bathroom has a huge window so I just love the light and this is the first time in our married life we have separate sinks and in fact we actually have separate counters so here's my space and here's my husband's space and then the toilet is like in this little dark hole on the side which I guess is because they don't have a door on the main bathroom not quite sure about that and then we're in the middle of um, renovating this shower don't you love the gray tiles I am in love with the gray tiles it is so beautiful and we are putting glass doors on the shower instead of this chintzy shower curtain except for we are on our third one of not fitting and it's no one's fault the first one didn't fit right along the bottom it wouldn't attach right on the bottom the second one we ordered off Amazon was too wide and the third one just came in the mail or was delivered yesterday and then the guy we have installing it of course now can't come till after Christmas which is fine we have this um, curtain rigged up and we can use our shower but I'm so excited to have it done um, so we can enjoy the whole thing so yes there is our it looks like the lights on in here our bathroom and it looks right out onto our bed which is why it's super nice to have the doors so um, I'll shut the doors and show you now I will give you one little note if you're ever installing barn doors I would not recommend doing the double. So we did the double because it's such a wide opening, but the double barn doors are super tricky. They can actually slide past center. They can slide off their tracks on the bottom because it's such a long track across the top. They're kind of loosey goosey. So if I'd known that, I might've tried to get just one really wide door that slid over here, you know, and then cross. But you don't know those things until you actually try them. So I love the barn doors, but the double barn door is um, an interesting, interesting concept. So, um, and then there's our neighbor's house right there. And then this looks out, this main window looks out over the um, street in the front of our house. So, okay, let me turn off the light in the boys room and oh and here's the kids have um, a bathroom just in the hallway and um, you know shower and a bathtub so that's we love having that okay so now going down the stairs um, this house isn't quite as open as I would 100% love in a dream home but it's really open considering everything so coming down the stairs you can kind of see here's play area my sewing workspace right into the kitchen and our eating area and then um, we go down the stairs here just sort of half a level and there's the living room so it really is quite an open concept considering um, how it could be so all right let's take a look at the kitchen um, you guys have seen maybe a bit of this if you've seen my cooking videos but this is my sort of organized life space right now we have a 2017 calendar and a 2018 calendar as things start to fill up um, for both years and for the first time in my married life I have a full-size American refrigerator. Our one in Hong Kong was like half that size. So
So um, love that and um, thawing a ham for dinner. We're having some people over for kind of a Christmas celebration tonight. And just a cute U-shaped um, sort of kitchen. Up here when we moved in, there was a single brown cabinet right here. And it just kind of opened up and it kind of stuck out and felt like it was um, in my face if I was at all working on this um, countertop. And so one of the first things I did was unscrew it and rip it off the wall. I touched up the paint and then I put those shelves in. So I love having some open shelves and um, doing that. So uh, Wanda, we're in Colorado. So this is, I bought, I, should, I didn't turn it on, but um, I bought at Joann's as on Black Friday this, it's a little wire, um, battery operated, but it also have lights. It's so cute. Um, it's this wire, but, and then it came with, oh, it's hard to see, sorry, so much light. Um, it came with these little clothespins. Anyway, I have our Christmas cards hanging up there. Um, so anyway, that is our Christmas cards. And then if you saw the live I did, I made this advent bag activity. So each one has a candy and like a Christmas activity, like sing a song, read a book. Last night as a family, we acted out the Christmas story. Um, so that's what we were doing. Nice. And then, um, I also shared a tutorial this Christmas for this um, felt garland, which was really easy. I just sewed the circles together. So that was really fun too. Okay, so that's the kitchen going around. We have got a lot of cards, Tammy. I send a lot of cards too. I'm like, a, I'm a big Christmas card person, so I send a bunch. And if you send a bunch, usually that means you get a bunch. Okay, so we're gonna go down here and take a quick look. The kids are being very good and um, watching TV. So we'll just take a quick look. Um, here's looking back up to the open living room, our Christmas tree. We went and cut it ourselves, not from a Christmas tree farm, from a national forest here in Colorado. So it's a little spindly, but it's very natural. And then some nice lights down here. And then um, this is when we moved in here, they had just a couple weird shelves on the wall. Okay, just wait a second, Rosie. Are you scared? I don't know what happened. Um, when we moved in, they had a couple weird shelves on the back wall, but I have a lot of like picture frames and books and stuff, and I wanted a lot of storage. So and we bought these shelves at Ikea and it's um, the cube storage and it's a one by four on the bottom, a four by four in the middle and a one by four on the top. And my ultimate goal is to frame it in with trim and like crown molding across the top so they look like built-ins. And I hadn't gotten to that project yet, which is good because we found out like a month ago that our fireplace um, it's not working properly. It's a really old kind of fireplace and the whole thing needs to be ripped out, including the brick and including the unit inside. If we want to replace the fire, the unit that burns, we have to take out everything. So first week in January, everything's getting ripped out, which means my husband will have to move the bookcases from either side of the fireplace. And anyway, so I guess I'm glad I didn't finish the project because they're going to have to be ripped out. So... That's the plan though, is to have those look like built in. So this is the door to the garage. And then this is our like extra space down here. And right now it's just storage and the kids playroom, but let's open the window. So there's kind of, this is the basement. It's a finished basement, but it's only like a partial finish. So there's a crawl space that you get to through the closet. Um, that eventually those are like Christmas boxes and the plan is that they will all go in the crawl space. But the f great thing is down here is a beautiful finished bathroom. Hey, so we can use this. We have air mattresses down here and we can set this up 
and our family can stay down here and guests can stay down here. And it's super convenient because of, um, you know, the bathroom down here. So that is great. So that was already done when we moved in. And then also the laundry room is down here and my photography lights and the furnace our little freezer and then we have our um, washer and dryer and a um, storage so yeah the cap the cupboards were here and I feel like the previous people had done a lot by adding storage oh so these are the little shelves that were in the living room and I was like I've got three boxes of books and 20,000 picture frames not gonna be enough on the walls so we took those off and then put up a bunch so the other thing you might have noticed is the kids are watching TV, but there's no TV. So we decided when we moved here that we would go with a projector. So um, there's a projector on the wall here. It's hooked up to Roku, local TV, Amazon TV, you know, all those things and a DVD player. So we have a huge screen without a TV, which I love. And actually you can see, um, you guys don't have it zoomed in, but you don't care? Or you do, it's widescreen. Um, you can see really well, and at night you can see like perfectly. So, yeah, we're just gonna step out right here. So, and here's our backyard. The deck is kind of taken apart for winter. It's 60 here today, but within two days it's supposed to be in the negative <laughs> temperatures. So, the weather is crazy. But right behind our back fence is a trail and um so and no, we don't have a yard you can see there's like a gap between our fence and the fence in the back so we love having that green space between us and the previous owners left their swing set so love it um tammy the washer and dryer i ordered it from home depot it was free delivery and they stacked it and they did it all in about five minutes he came in and he was like he brought the stuff in and then he um, he came up five minutes later. He's like, yep, all done. And I was like, what? How can you be finished? So anyway, it took him five minutes to stack them. And it was one, one or two guys. We don't have a dog. No, we, we have dogs. Um, both neighbors on either side of us have dogs and, um, across from us. So we are surrounded by dogs and sometimes they all start barking at the same time. Um, but it's fine. Okay. So now for the last part of our house. Oh, I didn't show you our mugs. Okay, let's do this one part before we go to the sewing room. So our travels over the past 15 years of marriage, we have been collecting Starbucks mugs. And when we started, neither one of us drank coffee. Since kids, I now drink coffee. Um, but we've never had a place to fully display these and in this house we do. So my parents gave us the shelving that they didn't want anymore and I painted it blue to match and then we hung it above our table. So it's fun. It's been great. I'd love to replace this railing. It's really beat up and you can see on the going up we're missing one spoke has fallen out and kept clunking down the stairs so I just took it out but um, I'd love to put in dark wood something to match the floor but I haven't so okay so let's talk about the sewing slash um, hi Sheila showing slowing sewing and play area um, in our last apartment we had good for wine um we had in our last oh tammy that's a good idea maybe in the short term is to paint it um i should see if i can do that and i also have to figure out how to glue that railing thing back in um i shared a sewing space like a 10 by 10 or even smaller maybe an 8 by 10 bedroom with my daughter she was in a crib and then the other two walls were my sewing things and um so it was super crowded in there it worked for us but all the kids always wanted to be right on top of me so when we bought this house and it didn't have a fourth bedroom 
Um, or really, I did not want to set up in the basement for my sewing because I love natural light. I just decided that I would make this front room into my workspace and the kids' playroom so that they can be near me, but we all have space to work. So literally, here's my front door. You walk in and there's my office. So my mom's like, I've never known anyone to turn their front room into their office, but it works for us and the kids play. Obviously you can see they're, they're in the middle of some sort of car traffic jam down here. Um, but it really does work for us and um, it's a great space for all of us. So let's talk about a couple of things. Um, including my great fabric.com order up there. So that's the box just came yesterday. I've not had a chance to put that fabric away. Um, but the base of my table, so this is a custom cutting table that I made. And the bottom here is four Ikea, um, Ikea kitchen cabinets. So you can see I've got like ribbit, ribbed, knit in there. Here's some serger thread. But anyway, so it's two units here. And then on this side, I want it, there's, it's a little bit of gap. So we put in a little shelf and Rose's um, craft supplies are there. And then on this side is the same two cabinets. So I tried to get a, like an actual countertop from Ikea, but they wouldn't sell me just a four by four square, which I think was what this is, four by four. Um, you had to order, I don't know, 20 square feet minimum or something, and this is only 16 square feet. So what this is, is two, you can see the line down the middle, two cheap desktops. So I think these are like $15 each. Um, they're super cheap and my thought is if they get scratched because they're not an actual countertop and you can see we already have rotary cutter damage here. I'll just paint for a while but when I want to replace it, it's actually a really cheap, I can just take it off and replace it again every couple years. And unless I get my hands on an actual countertop, that's my plan. So I don't know if I'll replace it or how often I'll want to replace it, but um, that's my thought is that it's not a big deal when I do want to replace it. So, and then the stools I ordered from Target.com and our fun bit of color in the room. And this teal cabinet, I was looking everywhere for kind of a hutch or sort of china cabinet that was this color. And I think I ordered this from Birch Lane but I just love it. So it has two big drawers on the bottom. And then in this opening here, I have my cutting machines and a pillowcase apparently. And then up here we have um, some boxes for organization and a lot of other, now some things have just gotten set there rather than get put back in the box. But um, yeah, trying to keep things organized and there we go. So, yes. I know, Marie, we can, when the kids are done, maybe we'll put some like chairs over there or something, you know, when they're not playing with toys so much anymore. But, and actually during parties, this has worked great because I clear this off and people can stand around and like eat on this because it's counter height. So, that's really fun. And if you saw, I shared the tutorial for this pegboard that I made. Um, I added the letters to the top and I just love how it adds color and I try to hang pretty things on it, obviously like my thread, um, but it's a great organizational tool and really easy and affordable to make and just helps um, organize things. So I've got you know little things like bobbin and stretchy thread in there and my tweezers that I grab and sewing scissors plus having my thread right there is really handy. And then this is the view that you guys are used to um, from the sewing shows with my serger, my sewing machine and embroidery machine 
and my cover stitch. And I have to show you this cover stitch sometime soon, you guys, because it's a double cover stitch. So it does the loopy stitch on both the top and the bottom. So it's perfect for athletic wear and leggings. And I'm super excited about it. So we'll have to show that off really, really soon. Um, but I love it. The other thing I was gonna show you, which I forgot, is um, this really fun rug. My husband's grandma made it um, many, many years ago out of corduroy pants that she hoarded from the thrift store. And it's a five braid rug. And this was the very first, and then she taught me how to do it. And upstairs in our bathroom, I didn't point it out, but upstairs in our bathroom is uh, the one that I made. I've made a couple, but one of them is upstairs. And that was the very first tutorial I shared on my blog eight years ago, almost eight years ago, was how to make that rug. So that was a fun way to start the house, or start the blog, and um, a really fun way for me to get started. So there's my house. Yeah, it's um, 1,500 square feet plus a few more, like four more hundred down in the basement. But we were living in about 800, 900 square feet before. So this and the openness of this house, and I love the high ceilings. Anyway, it really feels huge to us. So we love this space and so far have really enjoyed how we've set it up. And um, it's definitely a house that encourages community and encourages us to be together while also gives us a little bit of space. There's my seasonal greenery up on top. Um, but also gives us some space if people just need to get up to a bedroom and get away from other people. So that is it. I'm so glad you joined me today and I hope you have a super Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then just enjoy this week with your family. I, my kids are off for two and a half weeks. So, um, I will be taking a bit of a break from the blog, but I'll be back at the beginning of January with sewing live tutorials on Wednesday afternoon, same time as this, so 3 p.m. Eastern. And in two weeks from today, I will be back um, with a sewing tutorial. So mark your calendars, not next week, but the week after, two weeks from today, Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I will be there, be back with another sewing tutorial. So let me just around to sign off and um, I thank you guys for joining with me and I'm trying to see which way is right and um, and I hope you have a great day thank you for coming along and now for those of you who want to know what our space looks like now you know what it looks like and you can kind of envision the whole space when you see the little little bit of it that I'm sewing in so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and I will see you next year, 2018. All right, bye-bye.